Juris Vodcast with Scott Pierce. The U.S. Supreme Court is set to consider a case, Giles versus California, that deals with a criminal defendant's right to confront a witness killed by that same defendant. You heard me right. The defendant was convicted of murdering his ex-girlfriend by shooting her several times with a 9mm handgun. The defendant admitted killing the victim, but claimed he fired in self-defense. The trial judge admitted into evidence statements the victim had made to police officers at the scene of a prior incident. The victim told the police that the defendant beat her and threatened her with a knife. On appeal, the defendant, now a convicted murderer, argued that the judge violated his right to confront adverse witnesses when these statements were allowed into evidence. Since the victim was dead, he was unable to cross-examine her about the statements. The statements were testimonial. They were made out of court and were being offered into evidence. The statements were hearsay. The California Supreme Court upheld the conviction, holding that the statements were properly admitted under California law and that it met federal constitutional standards as well. Some of you, no doubt, are thinking that it is easy to predict what the Supreme Court will do, uphold admitting evidence against a defendant who killed a victim. But don't be so sure. What makes this case interesting is the 2004 Supreme Court case of Crawford v. Washington, 541 U.S. 36. In Crawford, the Supreme Court breathed new life into the Confrontation Clause. Crawford overrules a 1980 case, Ohio v. Roberts, 448 U.S. 56, that had clearly addressed these issues. The Crawford precedent is what makes the instant case, Giles v. California, so worthy of our attention. If you are a student of constitutional law, the Confrontation Clause is worth your attention. If you are interested in evidence, this case presents a fine opportunity to look into some of the most technical aspects of the hearsay rule. As always, I encourage you to look into these matters for yourself. You can find all the relevant links at JurisVodcast.com. We'll see what the Supreme Court thinks of this case later this term. For Juris Vodcast, this is Scott Pierce. Thanks for your attention. Juris Vodcast is a production of Nuclear Podcasting. Creative Commons Attribution Non-Commercial No Derivatives. <laughs>